Why did President Biden wait so long? Why do you let 32 days pass between phone calls with Prime Minister Netanyahu? Well, so first of all, our teams are in contact every single day at every level. President Biden gets a daily, twice daily, sometimes nine times daily update on what is going on. And he reserves his calls for the prime minister for when he believes there's a key strategic moment that needs to come forward. That's point one. Point two, prime minister, of course, knows how to reach President Biden. If the prime minister felt he needed the president for some reason, he would have picked up the phone and called. And of course, in the last 32 days, President Biden has never declined a, a phone call from Prime Minister Netanyahu. So this is pretty much the normal give and take of two leaders, both operating their governments, both operating their foreign policies, both working with their teams. And then at a key inflection point in the, uh, in the dialogue between the two sides coming together and talking, I wouldn't make more of it than that. And there's a report that when President Biden was told his handling of the war between Israel and Hamas was starting to affect his poll numbers, uh, the quote is, he began to shout and swear. So when he does that, is he shouting and swearing about Netanyahu or about Hamas or about his poll numbers? This is the when did you stop beating your spouse question because I don't think he ever did that. Um, and so, me? well, you, you use that as the premise of your question, which is when he does that. He, I've never seen him do that, shout or swear in response to that. So from my perspective, um, that uh, particular report is not correct. Yeah. 